Greetings to all our subscribers and viewers. Welcome to Kingdom of God Principles Online Seminar brought to you by Forbes Global, Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. The vision transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. And now presenting from the Kingdom of Heaven, God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador, Joseph Forbes. Welcome, welcome to you all who join us in an exciting, life-changing experience, the Kingdom of God online seminar, another Kingdom Power Dominion Park session. Information training brought to you by the Holy Spirit for you, your family, your mama, your papa, your brother, your sister, their children, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, this promise is for you, for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord, our God, shall call. When you use the word Lord, the next word is King. I want to focus today in what I believed shall be the keys of the kingdom of God living lifestyle on earth. Our focus is a continue of this is fourth session of kingdom theology of the prophetic scripture. Number four, part four. Wow. I love to focus on six kingdom objective or kingdom principle. One, a kingdom is a country. Two, change from membership to citizenship. Three, the theology of the 21st century and now had misunderstood, the seminaries had misunderstood the Bible. Your colleges, your Bible university, your schools, your online college and courses have misunderstood the kingdom theology of the Bible. Wow. Fourth, the kingdom is not a religion. <laughs> wow. Five, all the theology of a religion called Christianity is a product and belief of Catholicism. Every Christian is a Catholic. Six, kingdom concept is the foundation of all the scripture. You must understand the scripture through kingdom concept. If you do not, all of your conclusion will become error. The first objective is kingdom is a country. The kingdom of heaven is a country. Now we begin our message already in progress. I will tell you about point five. All the theology of Christianity is Catholicism belief. A bishop 
named St. Augustine, was the Bishop of Hippo from 396 to 430. He was a renowned theologian, writer, skilled preacher. He is one of the Latin fathers of the Church of Roman Catholic. It's formerly as a doctor of the church. What was St. Augustine best known for? Christian philosopher and theologian. All Christianity is a product of Catholicism. All Christians are of Catholicism. Catholicism is the largest denomination of Christian churches. All the Catholics are Christians. Catholic, the Greek word for Catholic means universal. What is the belief of the Catholic church? It's written down in call, a belief called the Nancy Creed. That is their belief. The Nancy Creed sums up in Christian belief in the Holy Trinity. One, what is is? What is the belief of every Christian? They have one belief. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before ages, God from light to light, God from through God, begotten Son, made Father through all things, created all things for us, man, by the Holy Spirit was incarnated for the Virgin Mary. Born, become man for all man's sake. He was crucified by Pontius Pilate. He suffered the death and was buried and risen again on the third day and ascended into the, into the heavens, seated at the right hand of God the Father, he will come again to, to, in his glory, to judge the living and the dead. It continued, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the quick or quickened life of who came from the Father, proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is un who is spoken by the prophet. I believe in one holy Catholic church, the apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin and look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. These are every Christian, whether you be a Baptist, you be an Anglican, you be a Catholic, you be a Methodist, you be a Seventh-day Adventist, whatever church or whatever organization you're familiar, you are a woman Catholic. You are a member of Catholicism belief because all the belief that all the Christian belief, it is Catholicism. Now, next is a kingdom is a country. The kingdom is not a church. The kingdom is not a denomination. The kingdom is not a religion. A kingdom is a country. Wow. God identified himself as a king. Now, what is kingdom theology? 
the theology of the 21st century seminar, seminaries, your college, your university, do not teach this one word, kingdom theology. They do not teach it. It's not mentioned in any of their schools, their college, and their churches. Wow. Now, the kingdom concept is the foundation of all the scripture in the Bible. The Bible is not democratic. You cannot understand the Bible to democracy. The Bible is kingdom. Kingdom government. Wow! It's about a king. It's about a kingdom. It's about a royal family. Wow! Now, what is kingdom theology? It's the foundation of all the scripture written in the Bible. Romans 16, 25, 26. Now to him. This is a statement by Ambassador Paul. Now to him is of the power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began long ago. This mystery of kingdom theology was kept secret. Wow. Long ago, before the world began. How long before the world began? Now, I'll clarify this to you. Now, Paul said, right now, the kingdom theology is the only power of God unto salvation. For well, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for therein is the power of God unto salvation. Wow. Able to establish you to my gospel. Now, you, nothing change until you change. Nothing is yours tell you you receive it. No, Paul say my gospel. Paul receive revelation. Paul receive mystery. What is the revelation he received? The message Jesus Christ preached. Now, the word receive means re means again. See means to have. So Paul received the power of the gospel again. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. My gospel. Now, are you willing to receive the gospel and the message of the gospel as Paul received Evangelion? Good news of the kingdom of God. Wow, 26 words, woman. 626 but now it's made manifest by the scripture of the prophet now what is this kingdom theology it's made manifest of the scripture it's about the scripture the original idea of god god idea a collection of god idea it is called the prophetic scripture. The scripture of the prophets according to the commandment of the everlasting God made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. Wow. Wow, wow. Now, what is kingdom theology? But we want to hear what your views are. Acts 8, 28, 23, 22, 23. Now, all the Jews want to hear the views of Paul, the ambassador of Paul. 
but we want to hear what the views are now Paul wrote 14 letters these letters are epistle these letters were word written to address problems difficulties and crisis in the churches these letters are letters written by Paul Wow but we want to hear what your views are we know that the people everywhere is talking against this set they arranged to meet Paul on a certain day and came even in large number wow they came in large number to the place where he was staying now these groups of Jews leaders they came in large number to Paul resident where he was staying wow wow now he explained about the kingdom of God kingdom theology not in your colleges not in the churches not in the school they are product of Catholicism but Paul explained to them about the what kingdom of God and from the law of Moses and from the prophets one kingdom of God to the law of Moses three the prophet he tried to persuade them about Jesus some were convicted by what he said but the others did not believe Christianity Islam Hinduism Judaism and all the four major religions do not believe in the kingdom theology message but some do wow <laughs> but some do tell me more wow now what is this kingdom theology Jesus Christ first introduced what he believed what is the belief of God what he believed what was his message now this is shocking to you I feel like a man all by myself here this is shocking to you what was Jesus message Jesus never preached the cost Jesus never preached Calvary Jesus never preached the resurrection Jesus never preached born again message what he preach Matthew 4 17 those who are studying open up your Bibles and turn to the scripture Matthew 4 17 see it for yourself the only message Jesus preached the only true message of the Bible Wow from that time now that's what 400 years from the time of Adam to the time to Mary and Joseph but over about 400 years from that time on that dispensation that period of time Jesus began to preach now if Jesus Christ preached a message got to be right I believe in the message of Jesus not the message of the Pope nor Roman Catholic called to Catholicism no repent for the kingdom has come nigh Jesus addressed a kingdom now the first he addressed your mindset your mentality now I used to be in woman cocklet in Anglican a break off from woman cocklet a Anglican church they preach the Nancy Creed I was a expert in religion God had delivered me from out of religion 
I was in church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the apostolic faith. I was also an evangelical. I was in many other religions, but God delivered me from religion. Wow. Repent. The first thing I received when I heard about the message, Jesus called me as a prophet to the nation to preach the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I received that message. Repent. I did. Why? Because a kingdom is alive. Now, how can I get you from religion to kingdom? How could you move from religion to kingdom? Religion is an organized system of belief, ceremony, worship, practice, a ritual, a ceremony service. How can I get you from a church ceremony service to a message of the kingdom? How can you move from membership to citizenship? How can you move? Change your mind. Change what they teach you, what they train you to thought, what they train you all the years. Mark 1, 15. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God has come. Repent. Repent. Change your thinking. Change your theology. Change your belief system. Repent! For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as witness to all the nations. Then shall the end come. If this teaching and this channel been a blessing to you, go and subscribe Global Diplomat College Center and be a partaker in proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, Evangelion, the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. God saved all the nations of the world.